So this one we're going to show jugular restraint. So whenever I'm doing any kind of restraint with a kitty, I always have my towel. And I'm just going to wrap her butt just because it keeps her kind of tight and close to me. And then kind of scoot her to the front of the table. Before I do anything grabbing her paws, I want to make sure that I have some control of her head so that if she tries to bite me, um, she can't. Then I'm going to take my other hand, my outside arm, tuck her in and grab her front legs with my hands and pull them down. Then I'm gonna take my hand, I like what everybody calls the Vulcan grip, where I'm just, my hand, it's just a V and it's up under her chin and I'm holding on either side of her jaw so that she can't move and I can turn her head either way. Notice that I'm not clamping down on her head. This allows her to meow or scream or hiss or do anything that she wants to do and that uh, holding that down actually just upsets them even more. The whole idea is we have to make her think she's winning. If this is a difficult position for you, you can also put your hand up under um, and whichever works for you, whatever is more comfortable, as long as you're not holding from the top of the head because this is a very easy position for them to get their head out of um, and that puts your restrainer, I mean, sorry, puts the person that's drawing the blood and yourself at risk.